This is a simple demonstration of a motor. And what a motor does is it takes electricity delivered to some electromagnets and converts it into rotational motion. So we're converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. And the way that it works is that I have power connected up to this electromagnet. There are several windings around this green magnet and it's going to be a south pole permanently. This one here is connected up also to the power supply and it will be always a north pole. And these replicate, oftentimes in motors, there's a permanent magnet that you use um, instead of these, but you can use a permanent or electromagnet, doesn't matter. In the middle here, we have uh, current coming into current of opposite polarities coming into this contact and to this contact. So this would be positive, this would be negative, for example. And then that contact is connected up to this. This is called a brush. Here's uh, one on the front side you might be able to see better. These are the brushes of the motor. They make contact with what's known as the commutator. This brass shaped piece here is called the commutator. It's, it ha it's in two halves. This half here is disconnected from this circular C-shaped half here. So what happens is that this brush makes contact with this half of the commutator at the same time that this brush makes contact with the other insulated half of the commutator. And the commutator allows you to reverse the direction of the current through these two magnets here. So for half of the time, this and until this gap makes contact with the brush, this will be a north pole and this is a south pole. And then for the other half, I'm sorry, actually during this, at this stage, you want this south pole to, to attract this north pole. So at this stage in the, in the motion of the, of the motor, this guy's south, this is north, they attract each other, these guys attract each other. Then when it passes this point, then the commutator reverses the direction of the current through these guys. This now becomes a north pole and repels this north pole. Gets pushed away, same thing here, this becomes a south pole and repels the south pole. Then comes back around here, remember this is now a south pole, it's attracting this north pole. Now then it passes through that gap in the commutator again and, and then repels again. So that's a basic motion, let me show you how it works. So each time all these magnets are in a straight line, that's when the current reverses in the central part of the motor and, and that allows the motor to continue to go. If you instead always have the same current, uh, if you don't have the uh, commutator and you apply the same current all the time, then you just get a situation where it's not gonna move at all. You need the commutator and the brushes to, to allow the motor to turn. This is a, a regular motor with brushes. There are also brushless motors that don't have a commutator and don't have brushes and that control the motion of the, of the rotor. This is called the rotor simply by controlling the amount of current to each of the electromagnets. And these are used in um, like the segways and other uh, electric unicycles, that sort of thing. So that's the way a motor works.